Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm coming on to share a outgoing package that I put together for the annual Halloween challenge giveaway that Brittany Pochick is hosting. And I learned of it on Instagram. I uh, know she's posting some videos here on uh, YouTube. So I will link her uh, YouTube channel in the description box so you can go over there and check out all the projects that people are sending her so the requirements for the challenge were to uh, one shaker a decorated tree bag or pocket a bag topper 10 die cuts a handmade embellishment using a non-halloween die and a bonus entry for making a halloween ornament here's what i put together i opted to make a uh, pocket that is decorated it includes all of my goodies in here I used this pattern paper this is from the Halloween paper pad that Michaels put out this year and it's more of a lightweight paper and then the background paper I used 110 pound cardstock in the black and then the iridescent paper that came from Michaels also I added a little bead dangle here on the side just a couple of wire wrapped beads. I used this cast craft die and cut out the cauldron and I layered that up on a little bit of foam to give it a little dimension. And these cat dies are glittered cardstock. It might have been L B Z R D Y. Sorry, I'm not saying that right. But I'm not 100% sure, but it comes with a lot of different cat die cuts. And the back side I included a pocket in here and the die cuts and I made a sequins mix. So we'll start with the front here. And I did include a little broom here. And this is a Chaos Craft die I got from a couple years ago. And I made it all out of um, cardstock. And I added a little strip of words there that said witches. And here is my back topper that I made and it includes my shaker. I believe this is also a Chaos Craft die from a couple years ago. And I added some spider web. Let me try to zoom in. Some spider web paper behind the sequins in there. And I thought these little glass balls in here kind of mimicked spider eggs. So I put those in there, added some iridescent glitter, a few um, well, that sequin's not in there. This The glitter did stick a little bit more than I wanted it to. It still looks really cool. And I used glitter cardstock to make the spider. I went ahead and added some sequins in the bottom here just to give it a little extra fun. And this is the same sequin mix that I put in the mix that I included in the back. My bag topper, let me zoom out again. My bag topper I made using a cast craft die and I cut it out in the iridescent and then layered it with a piece of the pattern paper from the Michaels pad. I added the word boo here and then I glued on some sequins. I added this adorable bat bow on here. The cardstock I use on this is the black shimmer cardstock from Dollar Tree. And behind here, I added a little banner of spiders hanging down. So this was the bag topper, but I made another bag topper <laughs> in case that one didn't really qualify. This one I made, this is a Chaos Craft die I got last Halloween. And I put the word eek in here. I did put that up on foam. And there's a little light orange rosette back there. I made a couple of handmade miniature paper flowers. And then I added this cute little spider on here. And an iridescent spider web. The striped paper came from the uh, Michaels paper pad. In the back, I just put the striped black and white paper on there. A shaker mix was not required. But I did go ahead and include one. I used this cute little Valentine container 
And this was a chaos craft from Valentine's Day. And I made it kind of Halloween-y. I put a couple of uh, sequins on the outside that were part of the shaker mix. I did add this little topper on here just so it had a little flip top. This is actually a separate pouch in here. She can just pull that out and use those. Put together some die cuts. I'm not going to take these out. The final thing that I included was a handmade embellish from using a non-Halloween die. And I really wanted to go outside the box here and make something totally Halloween-y out of a totally non-Halloween die. This I made using the Scrap Diva Ladybug die set. I made these spooky bugs. And the feet I made out of... Uh, a spider die and I cut the legs out. I cut one spider in half. It glued one half on both sides and this is the front of the spider. Then I used a different spider on the smaller one since this is a smaller bug. I think this just turned out super cute. The eyeballs are made with little seed beads, different sizes. That is my project and here is what the pocket looks like without anything in it in the back that's my project thank you very much for watching i hope everyone has a fantastic halloween and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye bye